think the factor is um, the actual, um, you know, polyethylene wearing out. So, so doing just just to sort of recap for people that don't really know. So you have the, you have the metal um, prosthesis, if you like, um, but you don't then have metal on metal. You have a, you have sort of plastic components between those, you know, metal which take the sort of the, the weight bearing, if you like, which replicate the meniscus and the cartilage in effect. Um, how, how big a factor are those components wearing out in terms of you know, longevity of these knee replacements? Yeah, it's a good question. And so, you know, traditionally polyethylene was, you know, generally not well manufactured, quite poor quality. And that was the, you know, the kind of um, the spanner in the works, you know, that was the, the rate limiting step, the poly always wearing out. Yeah. Nowadays, manufacturing is so much better. Um, oxidation of components, you know, causes deterioration. So components come in in vacuum packing. Um, Oxidization can also happen from what we call free radicals. These are, you know, um, effectively hydrogen ions causing, you know, damage to polyethylene. Mm. So, for example, cross-linking of polyethylene is, you know, been happening over the last, you know, eight, ten years, where the polyethylene is just made stronger. Mm. That causes other problems. You make it stronger, it can be more brittle, prone to fracturing. So again, it's less tolerant, and therefore, again, positioning is important. And then something more recently has come in is which, which is vitamin E infused polyethylene. So those free radicals, those sort of free hydrogen ions, which are causing oxidation, causing that poly to degrade, you now infuse it with a vitamin E. Vitamin E then sort of sticks to those hydrocarbon chains and prevents that oxidization. Um, and you often see it, it's a kind of a polyethylene looks sort of slightly yellow. You, you know, initially when you, you look at it, you think, oh, that's a, that looks a bit like an old polyethylene, but it's actually the vitamin E infused type polyethylene. 